flashing twirling blades make for great martial art movies. And the flashiest, best flipping of them all, the butterfly. And in this episode of What Knife Should I Buy, we're gonna be talking about butterfly knives, how they work, and what makes them unique. We'll also take a look at non-locking knives like friction folders and slip joints. So let's head over to the counter and check out some steel. All right, we are back with Tyson and Timote, and these guys are gonna help us learn a little bit more about some knives. Specifically today, we're talking about butterfly knives, and I've always been a little confused. What's the difference between a butterfly knife and a balisong? Oh, they're one and the same. Okay. So balisong is the word used in the Philippines where the knife comes from, or it's originated from. Uh, it describes a knife that's used for utility purposes as well as self-defense. All right, so how exactly does a butterfly knife work? Oh, it's, it's kind of like your basic folding knife, um, except for it's, uh, it has two pivots and two counter-rotating handles. It's technically a knife, a gravity opening knife. You know, it's all just based on gravity. There's no springs or any mechanisms in there. Um, the basic components are, of course, your blade. There are the two pivots. There are always two stop pins. A little harder to see in this one. These have the Zen pins that reside inside the handle um, instead of on the tang of the blade like this Kimura. Um, you have your, this is what would be your safe handle. It's usually the handle without the latch, and so if you flip and the blade makes contact with your skin, it's, it's going to be safe, it's not going to bite you. And likewise, the one with the, the clip and the, the latch here is the bite handle, because if you flip, get the edge on your hand, it's going to bite. Um, uh, they usually all consist of a latch to lock it either closed or to lock it open as such. Um, the Benchmade one here has a spring latch that springs out automatically. Um, yeah, here's the other uh, the difference, the other pins. These are the tang pins. These ones reside in the tang of the blade, and they're just pressure or pressed fit in there. So when they come out, they're pretty difficult to get back in. Um, those are your basic components. And I saw you flipping it, and I know that's a big element of uh, butterfly knife. So what is like the basic way to open it up? Uh, I'm certainly no professional, that's for sure. But uh, basically, all I really do is if it's open and you've got your safe handle right here to your right, you flip it out like that, and as you do that, you just kind of drag it back like that, flip it over, and then do the same thing again until it's closed, until it's open. Okay, very cool. But you're using the safe handle when you do that. Yes, I, I'm always the safe handle. If you look, if you slow it down, I'm really just one, over, over, there closed. And I know a lot of people are worried like to cut themselves when they're learning how to do tricks uh, with butterflies. So what are some options to learn how to use a butterfly knife? So we have a couple trainers here. Uh, this first one right here has a just a big piece of steel with no bevel or no edge on it. Um, safe, you know, you don't really have a bite handle or a safe handle. You can use either way to rotate it. Um, you also have pens right here. These are the Balios, come in a couple, diff couple different colors. Uh, just a, a simple pen that you can flip around. And then my personal favorite, probably a lot of others as well, is the uh, bottle opener that you can use right here. Same thing, you don't really have a blade that you're working with, no sharp edges, so you can flip it around all day. You probably try some of the more advanced techniques, you don't have to worry about stabbing yourself with that. Yeah, I just use it as a bottle opener. Now I know on the trainers too, I see holes in the blade. Is that just to keep it uh, lighter since it's not ground like an original blade would be? Yeah, so you're not dealing with much weight there. Uh, otherwise, you'd have a real thick piece of steel that would be hard to flip around. All right, so I know butterfly knives are locking knives with the latch and actually has a very strong lock. But one of the things that we haven't talked about yet are non-locking knives. So maybe you can tell us a little bit about what makes up a non-locking knife. Um, well, first of all, we have uh, the two friction folders here. First of all, we got a sword peasant knife, and uh, it's not locking because there's you know no locking mechanism on it. You won't find a liner lock in there or a lock back up here. Um, it's literally just the friction of the tang being put into the back of the handle that keeps it open. Uh, you know, so as long as you're cutting, you know, like so, as long as there's pressure being put up here, it's not going to close on you or anything like that. But you definitely don't want to use it you know, improperly because it doesn't take much to get it to, you know, fall back down. Um, and then on the newer side of things, more modern, we have the Boker War Toad, designed by Tough Knives, and it's, you know, same premise, tang of the knife, gets pulled into the back of the handle, and then, you know, when pressure is applied when cutting, using it as a cutting tool, it keeps it in the handle. But it's, you know, of course, non-locking. 
Another non-locking knife that I'm really familiar with and a lot of people would be is a slip joint. Maybe we can look at that. Sure. Uh, this right here is just a simple case knife. A lot of people are familiar with this. Uh, you can see when I rotate this blade, that tension bar raises and it's going to fall into a little uh, joint right back here where it's going to sit in place. So if we're cutting like Tyson showed with the, um, the friction folder when we cut, if you apply pressure, it's actually really secure. Whereas if we put pressure on the top of the blade, it falls back down in. Um, these are just a couple more uh, variations of, of the slip joint that we have here. Same thing, the tension bar is going to fall back into that joint, um, creating that pressure. Um, the other thing that's cool about these is we're going back in the day again. This has actually a little nail nick, how we would open the knife. So if you put your nail in there and you pull, it actually helps to play the knife for you. The other nice aspect of these, if you travel a lot, um, they're usually relatively safe to have in countries where they don't allow locking knives. Okay, so you definitely want to use proper use when using a non-locking knife. Uh, still functional and mostly for more light cutting tasks, definitely. I would imagine. All right, so if you'd like to check out some butterfly and non-locking knives, check out these great recommendations. Balls. Okay. 9.30 in the morning. 9.30 a.m. and we're done every day. Tuesday better. I don't usually yeah. day drink on Tuesday, but when I do, <laughs> I open every beer. <laughs> With a Tiger Balasong. With a Tiger USA Balasong bottle opener. <laughs>